My grandmother, to me, represents my connection with my ancestors. And though most of my family members have estranged relationships with other family members, and we've had so much tragedy and drama in our lives that most want to forget or don't talk about the past. But to me, I owe my ancestors big time. And I want them to be proud of me. I, I want to live up to a lot of the standards they had set before me. And I also want to carry them on. And I, I always think about my ancestors. I always look to my history. I always look to um, the things I've learned, the people who have taught me, and research things about my family that wasn't passed down, you know? So, but anyway, it's important to me. So I look up to, I look to my ancestors big time. And in this dream, it seems to me that with her being happy and she's being around family and friends and the other people that I see that I recognize in the crowd, that they're all smiling at me. They're all looking at me. So I interpret that as there must be there for me or I'm, something's going on with me that they're there to support me or, or proud of me. Anyway, that, that's my interpretation. They're, they're there and they're proud of me. Okay. So, okay. So um, the studio lounge scene. Um, this one was kind of deep and kind of weird. Um, there's many times in my life where through, you know, whether being a musician or through film work or even project work, a lot of my talent, skill, and ideas, I put into it. I worked hard and, and put into it. It sort of started with, with, with me and my concepts. But as it progressed, seems like I was being pushed out and someone else was taking credit for it even to the point that I wasn't even mentioned in the project itself and they became successful. And I just sort of got kicked out. And this, this studio area, this lounge area was just sort of like a reflection of the industry and people being um, successful through some of my work and I wasn't even invited. So, you know, sometimes it feels that way and many times it's been that way. But at the same time, it wasn't, the accolades wasn't important to me. It was the fact that I felt like I was being taken advantage of. That's the part that bothered me. And then it didn't bother me that much, at least in the dream, because the most important part at that time, it, at this point, was me finding the damn bathroom because I had to go. Um, yeah. <laughs> And then the bathroom scene, to me, represents the many obstacles that this industry puts in front of you. You know, e even the simple basics as, as a bathroom break can be difficult. The stairway and the bobcat. Wow. Okay. Um, when I came back out of the bathroom and went out in the courtyard and realized that it was empty, and everybody was gone, I interpret that as from this point, my ancestors were telling me that I'm on my own from this point or the decisions I make at this point going forward is entirely up to me. I have to make the choices. They can't influence it in any way. So um, that's what that recognizing like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm alone. So as I went down the stairs, I must have unknowingly stepped over that bobcat and didn't realize it until I was on the way back and I saw it. But for some reason, I kind of knew that if I went back up over the bobcat, there was going to be some consequence to it. So my first impression was to find a alternate route. And because I chose to go around, um, you know, it 
it felt like, okay, uh, you made the right choice. Because if you had stepped over me, you was going to get it. But the fact that I didn't and went around, he gave me a pass. So that's my interpretation, right? Again, to me, direction was significant because it seems like the whole time I've been sort of obviously directed to go to the left, but something was steering me to the right or elsewhere, but not in a non-obvious way. But you know, with the Bobcat, because I chose to go to the right, and that sort of represents that, that's sort of the way I've been all my life. I never take the obvious path. Um, I always choose an alternative or, or alternative viewpoint or alternative way of doing things. I don't follow the crowd. And I use my intuition or my gut, or whatever, to make my decisions, not based on what's obvious, but what feels right to me. So um, I think that's what that, uh, that's how I can interpret it with the Bobcat and, and, the, and the change and, and, and my choices to uh, go around. So to me, the Bobcat represents the industry, which I've been around for more than a decade. And I know what and who's behind the curtain. So I choose to take alternative paths because I don't like what I see and how I see the industry functions in a direct manner or the direct paths. And though that taking alternative paths have been has been very, very challenging. You know, my goal has never been to be successful in the industry, but just to bring something of value in an alternative viewpoint from the traditional ways of doing things or the traditional ways of thinking or traditional ways of entertainment, edutainment. And then the message of my destiny is my journey. That one was, was, was kind of perplexing to me and because, and it said, you know, what you seek is what you find. I, I, I'm not a poet. I don't even know where these words came from. It, it, like I said, it was in the dream. The poem was pretty clear and everything was, was pretty contiguous. So I just wrote down exactly what I saw, what I, I was feeling um, to the best of my abilities and then trying to use, you know, pieces of social media and public media to fit or interfit into what this dream was. That was difficult. It took me a long time to try to find the images that represented what I saw, you know, to the best of my ability so that I could show you guys what I was seeing in this dream. But the back to the um, destiny journey thing, um, I, I take that as there is no destiny for me to seek. It's the journey itself is what I seek. It's the experiences that I seek, not the destination. And it was basically telling me to enjoy the journey, good or bad, up or down, left or right, enjoy it because the experiences are what I'm going to get the most value out of. That's my interpretation. So look, I'm not a soothsayer or dream interpreter of any kind. I, I'm just, like I said, this is just from my gut what I interpret those meanings, those feelings it gave me, and it's for kicks and giggles. And I just wanted to share it with y'all because I thought it was interesting and I don't have dreams. I don't, I don't dream often and when I do, they're pretty profound or, or they, they make some statements of some sort. So I've made, made it my custom to 
immediately as soon as I wake up, just get it out. But this time I wanted to sort of interpret it because it was just pretty unique. It was a pretty unique dream. So I appreciate you hanging with me and um, <laughs> let me uh, stutter and, and go through this process of, of thought with you. And um, thank you. I hope you have a good day.